Hey, hello everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Blah, blah, blah. Larry here. I'll be your host and I want to talk a little bit about the Jim Hines Custom Pin Maker here in Richardson, Texas. Um, why do I want to talk about him? Well, because he's a custom pin maker and he does one heck of a job making fountain pins. Uh, so, I took it upon myself to spread the word about Heinz custom made pins. Uh, this is not the first time that I bought a pin from Jim. I have several pins from Jim, but let me show you my latest pin that I will be reviewing, reviewing next week. Uh, you're going to get it, and uh, probably a wooden pin case. He, he does have some other pin cases that he uses that are aluminum. They're really cool. But, you know, I do like this one. Really nice looking pin case. And here is this beautiful, the way I wanted it, custom. Starless Night is what uh, Mr. Announcer and I gave the name to the pin. Unscrew the cap. And it has a stainless steel medium nib. But I, I just uh, let uh, Mr. Hines know that I want to put in a 14K Jowo extra fine nib. Yeah, you heard it. Extra fine. Uh, if you keep up with my reviews, I don't do much of the fine or extra fine nibs unless they're smooth and wet. Well, the other day, Mr. Announcer and I and Alan, we had uh, a lunch with Frank and Kara Overman, and uh, Jim made Kara the uh, a custom-made pin, and we named that one the pink thing. Isn't that correct? Yes. And uh, I reviewed it. I reviewed it at lunch while we were at this great Italian little restaurant in Arlington, isn't it? Yes. Fantastic food. And when I wrote with that pen, it's a gold nib, extra fine, smooth, wet, just a beautiful writer. The pen was a magnificent pink with white, just a beautiful color, felt great, and Carl just loves that pen that Jim created. So do I. So, I don't have any extra fine Jovo gold nibs in my collection, none. So I thought, you know what, it's about time. So this baby is going to have it. First time for everything, right? Right. So I love this pen, truly, custom, made to what I wanted it to be, and Jim delivered the pen. Right, so I can't wait to taste it. So, here's what's happening soon. Jim, now, is everybody ready for this? All over the U.S., probably throughout the world, maybe, but he is going to have his Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. And it's going to be one killer of a sale. So if you want your hands on a Jim Hines custom made pin, then it's time to move on it. At that time of year, everybody's coming out with, you know, Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday, all that good jazz, all the stores, everybody's got their hand in it. So why not get your hands on a custom made pin? Not an everyday pin that, you know, you here and people talk about uh, the Visconti, Pilot, Pelican, you know, those are all great, wonderful super pins. But we're talking about custom right now. A custom pin that you can find at Jim Hines. And on this video, you're going to see the selections of pins that Jim has. And it'll mention the names, describe the pin to you, the nib, and the price. Okay? We're going to put all that information down on this video for you. He's going to have a discount, a minimum of 20%, and some will be, he says, an amazing deal up to 40%. Now, that's some 
price slashing for custom made pins. Come on now, are we real here, Jim Hines? Are you on the real side? You're just gonna slash all these? Well, hey, I hear what you're saying. You see, all, not just custom pin makers, but all pin makers, there comes a time where they have to start moving some of that inventory out. Even pin companies that sell the pins and sell a lot of other merchandise, they have a lot of overstock, so they need to start slashing. So you, yourself, and I, we see we get all these uh, ads from folks who were subscribed to about their, their Black Friday sale, Cyber sale, check out their prices, and they're just great prices for pens. But this is your chance, yours, talking to you, looking at me, to get a Jim Hines custom-made fountain pen. Have you always wondered, is Jim really that good of a pen maker? Does he really do them one by one? Does he really put quality of material in his craftsmanship into his pens? Does he really care about what he makes and what he puts out and sells? Well, let me tell you, I don't want to bust your bubble, but this is Jim's livelihood. This is his dream. This is his passion. Jim knows his stuff. Jim is the man. Yeah, you know, I I would rather buy a custom-made pen than just an everyday pen. Now, let me show you this pen. See, check it out. This is the Conklin All-American, one of my favorite all pens that has a Bach medium nib. Super great fountain pen. And this is the Jim Hines, the one I wanted to copy this pen. But this pen is made of ebonite. So, this is what I'm trying to tell you folks. Here is another Jim Hines pen. This is another custom pen the way I wanted it. This has a gold 14K medium nib in it. The pen writes magnificently. This pen, I've had it inked up with different blue inks since the pen show in September in Dallas. Dallas just started September to October. We're going on almost two months. This is the pen that I've been using as an everyday carry. And this pen will probably replace my workhorse pen, the Lombie 2000, because this is everything I want in a pen right here. For me, great workhorse pen. It's just great. Great to travel with, great to take it to school, great to go to college, great to go to work, in your office, wherever. You can get them, you know, fine, extra fine nib. You just tell Jim what you need and he'll get it for you. Right, so, I love the pen. I truly love this pen, and I named the pen. Yay! The Blue Storm pen. And Mr. Nance and I are working on coming up with another Blue Storm pen. Maybe a different size. I'm talking to Jim Hines about it, trying to come up with the Blue Storm number two. I love the pen. I really love the colors in it. But, you know, these are just two of them. Then I got about four or five more put away. But, uh, the, uh, the Americana that Jim Hines sells on this site, you need to check that out. Beautiful, gorgeous, well-balanced, Great fountain pen. I've got a 1.1 steel nib in it. It doesn't skip a beat. So, on Jim Hines, you're 
going to go to the Jim Hines website. And you'll see that on here, but this is what it looks like. And it'll be on this video. And uh, I'll just name a few of the pins. And I'll show you while I'm at it. But they'll be on the screen. The Nebula Jovo 1.5. And it's the Nebula is a beautiful sleek pin. It has a huge uh, blue swirl with orange, really beautiful colors that grab the eye. Let me just show you this real quick. Mr. Announcer, would you do the honors for the next one while I hold it up? Uh, this one is called Unicorn Barf with nickel trim and a Yovo number 6 medium nib. Very cool. And then we've got the beautiful beacon with the Jobo number six medium nib. It's a beautiful, gorgeous purple and gold pin. Uh, and this was my first model and the first to review to be reviewed, Jim said, by y'all me. Here it is. Now the only thing I would change on this pin for me is I'd have to have a clip. I'm a clip guy, sorry. All right, and the next one, Mr. Announcer. Uh, this one is listed as the classic beacon with gold trim and a Yovo number six fine nib. And this is the pin that I have. And talk about this one. Love the pin. Isn't that the one I have? Yes. This is the classic Cyprium. It is postable and has a Yovo number no. 6 1.5 nib. And let me tell you, the pin is dynamite. I love it. Okay? Now, we're talking Blue Storm, baby. The Blue Storm, it is postable. It has gunmetal trim with a Yovo number no. 6 broad nib. Now, are they getting a good picture of these? Can you check that and make sure? On here, can you see it good? Yes. All right, so I want to make sure that they're seeing these pictures good. All right, and the next one is going to be the emerald green and white. And Mr. Announcer, take that away. Make sure it's on the screen there. All right. Uh, Yovo number six, extra fine. Tell me about it. What does it say? It says this is a one of a kind white and emerald green swirled resin with deep translucent green. Beautiful, gorgeous pen. If I was rich, I'd buy every one of these pens. But I'm not rich, so I'm not buying every one of these pens. So, let's go to the next one, Mr. Announcer. Oh, this is a gorgeous one, too. This is the Bifrost number 3 with a Yovo Extra Fine Nib. This one says, from our friends at Diamond Cast, this is their Oil Slick Mix. Okay. And it's like all diamond cast materials. Didn't it say that in there? Okay. All right, the next one. God, these are some good looking pins. Uh, this is the similar one. It's called the Bifrost Number no. 1 with a Yovo 1.5 nib red lacquered nib. Okay. And again, this is from my friends at Diamond Cast. Yep, there is their oil slick mix. And like all diamond cast material. So, see a pattern going on here. And again, from the diamond cast folks, Jim has come up with another beautiful, marvelous dynamite pen. And talking about affordable, these pens are already affordable. But with the uh, Black Friday slash Cyber Monday dynamite sale Jim's coming up with, it's time to jump on the custom pin making wagon. What is it? Read it out. This is the Bifrost number two with a Yovo 1.5 nib. Okay. All right, here's another one from the friend that Diamond Cast that Jim uh, uh, gets uh, some of his material from. And uh, from my friend that Diamond Cast, 
and it's uh, the blue and white with the gold diamond infused material. Okay, Mr. Announcer, let me put that on and take it away. This is the blue macaw with a Yovo medium nib. That's a, that's a really nice looking pen. I love the clip on that pen as well. Look at that. Uh, here's a beauty for you. Hey, right here for the holidays too. Uh, okay. The Holiday Diamond Cast with a Yovo number 6 Extra Fine Nib. And how's that looking on the camera on your back behind there? Yes. Okay, and again, it's similar to our Heritage model, Jim says. Uh, this features the red, green, and white swirls with the diamond dust in it. So, and all right. You into, remember the good old dream sickles back in the day? Well, Jim came up with this one. Here we go. This is the orange cream sickle with a Yovo Extra Fine nib. And you need to check out those Extra Fine Jovo nibs. They really are some nice nibs. And what does it say in the bottom, Mr. Announcer? Similar to the... It's similar to the orange cream sickle pen uh, pictured on Fig Boots channel. All right. And here's another one. I think you mentioned this one. The purple. This is the purple radiance with a Yovo 14 karat gold medium nib. And what does it say about that one? Beautiful material on this pen. Pictures do not do it justice. Really pretty pens. Here is an interesting pen. This is silver radiance with a Yovo medium nib. Okay, and da, 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 da. great prices on these pens. Now, we'll take you to another section of Jim's beautiful pens. You're going to the number two. This is uh, Teal Radiance with a Yovo 1.1 gunmetal nib. And how is that coming out on your side of the screen? Uh, good. Okay. So, yeah, this is a beautiful T, Teal Radiance Diamond Cast. Beautiful. I mean, it is. And that 1.1 nib is to die for. Uh, and again, the pictures don't do these pen justice. Once you get these pins in your hands, then you're going to see the quality, the beauty, the radiance of these pens. And you're going to say, wow, Jim kicks it. Been telling you Jim does. So I'm not getting paid for this, but I'm a Jim Hines fan. So I want to give credit where credit's due. And Jim Hines, bless his heart, this is his dream. And if I can help shed any light on this, God knows I want to be a part of that dream. So, the next one is the... This one is called Blue, or sorry, Black Silver Gold Diamond Cast with a Yovo Broad Nib uh, plated black. And how does that one look on there? That's fine. Okay. And I'm getting Mr. Announcer to interact with me. Ah, oh, here's one, folks. Ta-da! Reminds me of Yo! Here we go. This is the Hippie Splash with a Yovo fine nib. Isn't that cool? Beautiful colors. Yep, from my friends at Diamond Cats. This was a short run color combo. Huh, that uh, was dubbed by the Hippie Splash. Beautiful, gorgeous fountain pen. Huh, may have to check that one out. Mm -mm -mm. Santa, Santa! Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Talking. Are you into red dragons? Do you like red? Do you like a good-looking pen? Well, look no more. Check out this beauty. This is the Red Dragon Diamond Cast with a Yovo 1.5 nib black lacquer. And I think I would dump some dragon napalm ink into that one. That would be really, really, really awesome. Ah, here we go. This is right up your line the person that asked me about it here it is a picture of it this is the caramel elementar number one with a yovo medium nib right there it is 
Uh, I've got about four or five uh, people that have asked about this. Uh, so there's that one for you. And here is another Elemental. This is the Caramel Elementar number two with a Yovo 1.1. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at here. This th this is a pen. This uh, look at this pen. Are you ready? This is Pat. Oops. Hold on. Patriot. All right. L looking at that beautiful. Okay. Pen. This is the Patriotic Elementar with a Yovo medium nib. Now this one doesn't have. Some of these don't have clips on them. Because they're a little bit more expensive with clips. Because, you know, there's a lot of work when you put on a clip. You just can't get the clip and, bam, slam it on there. You have to be precise. It takes time, patience, coordination to put it all together. Oh, here's a beautiful one. Oh, my stars. The blue one. The blue one. It is oh. the Glacier Elementar with the Yovo Medium Nib. But if anybody sent me a one of these pens that didn't have a clip, I would still love them. Oh, okay. oh here, here's one that I'll just die for. If it had a clip, I'd die and go to heaven. Here we go. This is the blue-orange Elementar with a Yovo 1.1. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, blue and orange accents. Yeah, Denver Broncos has made has been made with this in mind. Yay, Denver Broncos. Okay, day. Here we go. And look at this beautiful green orange. The green orange Elementar with a Yovo Beat broad nib. Uh oh. A pin, another pin to die for. This one is also the Patriotic Elementar with a Yogo, uh, Yovo Extra Fine Nib Red Lacquer. Beautiful. One of my favorite colors. Yay! And look who's up to bat next. The... Very colorful. It is the American Graffiti with a roll stop. That's the uh, red button up toward the top of the pen. And it is a has a Yovo 1.1 nib. All right. Green. We're talking some serious, beautiful green. Not your everyday. Just some serious, beautiful green. This one is called Frog Pond Lava with a Bach Medium Nib. And box are a nice nib. I'm using it in my All-American right now. I do like the Bach Nib, but, you know, I, I do love the Joe-O itself. So. All right. Is today anybody's birthday or is tomorrow's anybody's birthday? And if so, are you into fountain pens? Not just any fountain pen. Are you like interested in getting the ultimate custom made fountain pen for your birthday? Check this one out by Jim Hines. This is the birthday cake resin with a Yovo number no. six red lacquered broad nib. Here is a unusual color, but here is a pen making a statement that I found intriguing. Uh, this is an oversized pen. It is called the Heimdaller, uh, made of resin, with a Bach number no. 8 titanium fine nib with ebonite feed. Woo! That number 8 nib is what I want. Oh! Oh! Titanium number eight nib. Oh, 319. Okay, I'll take five. All right, here we go. Wow, that's a number eight. Oh, All right, here we go. The party's just beginning, folks. All right, so do we have any demonstrator lovers out there? Seriously, we're talking about. A custom-made demonstrator fountain pen. A gorgeous fountain pen. Not just because Jim Hines makes it, but because how Jim Hines make it. He makes it with love. He makes it one by one. 
He has to take his time. He has to plan it. He has to design it. He's got to work it in his mind. Then he's got to go to the lathe and start doing his magic. So here it is. You see that good? Yes, this okay. is the orange green honeycomb demonstrator with a Yovo 1.1. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, here's another pretty one. The colors aren't as bright and pronounced and bold as the previous one, but they're really nice colors that he has coordinated together to make this pen. This is the teal honeycomb demonstrator with ebonite accents and a Yovo 1.1 two-tone nib, black ruthenium and rhodium. And it comes with a clip. Yay for the clips. Now I want to take you to another category in the Jim Hines pen site. And you can find these under fountain pen models. And so we're going to start with this one first because there's some we've already mentioned. Here's one. This is the Empyrean with a Yovo number no. 6 14 karat gold broad nib. A gold broad nib. Wow. Really a nice looking one with a clip. And we've done the beacon, correct? Yes. So we've done that one. So we're going to go down to the... Uh, every, Next one past yeah. that. Past this one. Okay. Yeah. Here we... Ah, here we go. Here's one that needs some love. Just don't get enough people talking about it yet. A friend of mine had this pen that... Uh, he forgot it and left it on the table when we ran out to eat. And then the waitress took the pen and kept it. I saw it. But long story short, here we go on the pen. This one is called the Zeitgeist. And what does it say about it? Uh, it's a German word that literally translates to time spirit. Okay. And does it have a nip size on there? No. Okay. So here we go with the one that I have. Uh, this is the Americana. And what does it say? Anything? Uh, the classic styling of this pen is truly a thing of beauty. All right. And let's go down to the next one. This is the Americana Slim, a little big, a little brother to the uh, Americana. All right. And. Uh, We've done the Blue Storm, correct? Yes. Elementor? Okay, we're going down to the... Ah! Gotcha! Let me pull that little baby up and here you go. This is the Caribbean, colored after the rich medium blue color of the waters of the Caribbean. And it's a big pen. Yes, it's a beautiful pen. Love the clip. Okay, you skip that one. Okay, and here we go. Ah! Here is an intriguing, beautiful fountain pen. No, I don't own one, but I've actually held this in my hand. Gorgeous fountain pen. Uh, this one's called the Mystique. Uh, it's a large pen, similar to the Mont Blanc 149 and Sailor King of Pens. Right, beautiful. And let's see, is that going to be it on this page? We're trying to cover as many as we can for you guys out there. Uh, that appears to be all the, uh, okay. all the pages. Now what I'm going to go into, let Mr. Announcer talk about some, it's going to be specialty nibs. And then there's a, a, a selection there. Uh, show all specialty nibs. Specialty or, nib. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the 14K gold nib. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is the uh, 14 karat Yovo number 6. And then a 14 karat Yovo Semi Flex number 6. And that's it for that one, isn't it? Yes. 
Okay, now we're going to go into the 18K little nibs that Jim carries. Uh, 18K Yovo number 5. And the number 6. And let's see what else I can share with you fine folks. Jim also is providing classes from 2019 in September through March 28th to 31st of this year. So that was uh, September through March of this year. So he does do classes as well. So if you're interested in uh, going to one of his classes, you need to give Jim a holler and... Uh, he can hook that up for you. Okay, he's giving this at the uh, Southeast Pin Gathering in Augusta on March 28th through 31st. Of uh, next year or this year? He gave it. Was it for this year, 2019? Uh, no. At, okay, yeah, this says for 2019. Yeah, yeah this so that's is past, past. But I just thought I'd bring that up because he does that as well. So, I'll go into some pin making tools and supplies. Have you found that, Mr. Nelson? Yes. All right. And... That's what you will pull up on the screen, and uh, go ahead and talk about the mandrel set. Okay, these are mandrels made from C360 brass. It's a three-piece set with a cap, body, and se section mandrel. Okay, next. Then there is a tenon cutter, cut perfect tenons for common size pin maker dies. Next. This is a gauge combo M9 and M12 setup gauges for uh, M12 cap threads and corresponding M9 section threads. Next. This one is an M10, M13 mandrel set uh, with the body section uh, and cap mandrels. And next. This is the Gauge M14 setup for cap threads. And next. Uh, this is an M14 cap mandrel only uh, to be paired with the M10 body and section. Alright. I just want to try to give you a rundown on Jim Hines' website, what he carries, uh, from pin models, available pins and stocks, specialty nibs, classes, and pin making tool supplies. But there's actually more. Put my thinking cap on. Uh, Jim Hines uh, will be coming out with uh, cuddled nibs, I think some blue ones, red ones, Maybe black, I'm not sure. Uh, he has his own logo now on his pens, nibs. Uh, if you're looking for a nib, a special nib, you might want to give Jim, uh, send him an email. Uh, and uh, whatever you're looking for, however you want your pen made, but you're really not sure, you might want to email Jim, let him know what you're thinking about, what you're wanting, and see if he can help you put what you want into a real fountain pen. Uh, and do you want a steel nib? Do you want a gold nib? Do you want a 14K gold nib? Do you want an 18K gold, uh, K gold nib? Do you want a flex nib? Do you want a titanium nib? Do you want a Bach nib or just a Jobo nib? You know, a lot of things to consider when you're uh, putting together your dream custom-made pen. So, like I said before, and I'll say it again, and I'll stand by what I said, you can get the most beautifulest pen in the world, and you can spend eight, nine, ten thousand, a million dollars on a pen. But for me, once you pop that hood and see what's under the hood, it's all about that heart 
of the pen, the nib. If that doesn't write well, everything else is lost. So this is another reason why I, what I love about the Heinz pens. Because he's going to make sure that your pen is going to work and perform like you want it with whatever nib you choose with. If you ever have any concerns, problems, all you got to do, email Jim and he'll help you resolve the problem, take care of it. Uh, if it's a malfunction of the pen and it's something that not the customer's fault, Jim will to help you take care of that. But it's something that we've done to the pen, you know, uh, handle the pen roughly, dropping it all the time, putting too much pressure on it, something that we are held accountable, then no. Uh, you're on your own when you abuse a pen, right? I don't want to make sense. But Jim's a great guy. If you have ever, again, thought about getting a custom-made pen, then this is time to do that. Let me show you the blue nib on Jim nib. This is the blue one. See if we can get there. Yeah, really like that one. Uh, and I'm trying, he's got number five size, Joe's. Jobo number six size. On the bonk, he's got number five, uh, which are a $5 extra. And the bonk number six, which is a $5 extra. That's what it says on its side. On the nip points size, you're going to get extra fine. This is what you can choose from. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, 1.5. 1.9 so you got a lot of great stuff going on at Heinz Pins uh, Jim will be at the Philadelphia Pin Show at the end of January if you're going to if you want to order a pin that's not listed on the website but you want to custom make it to what you want it to be. Yeah, he can do that. But, you know, you're going to have to give it some time. Uh, depending on what it is, anywhere from three to five weeks, maybe longer. It could be six to eight, nine weeks. Uh, depends how busy Jim is. But you can always ask him, say, Jim, I want a new pin created. This is what I want. This is the material I want. This is the nib I want. I want it to post. I don't want it to post. I want a clip. I don't need a clip. Whatever. And put all that together. And he will let you know. So. Uh, he was in Washington, D.C. This year as well. That was pretty cool. That's one of his little stickers. And of course the one right here. Now. And I will show you this book more thoroughly. Uh, this is called The Pin World Magazine. It's got all beautiful pictures of fountain pens. Okay, this is the, what I would call it, the Pin World Bible. It's a magazine that's out about fountain pens. And right here, you'll find Jim Hines is in the Pin World magazine. And it'll give you Jim's email, phone number, and tell you a little bit of information about Jim Hines' pins. Can you read that, Mr. Announcer? Because I can't see that. Yes. What does it say? Can you read any of that? Uh, I can read all of it. Please do. Okay. Hines, proudly handcrafted in Texas. Uh, save 10% off. That's still valid through the 30th of what? Of uh, this month. Uh, then there is his phone number, email, and website address. So, 
Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, there you have it. Jim Hines. You can find him in the Pin World magazine. Beautiful magazine. And just show you roughly some cool pictures. Amazing fountain pens. Amazing. Just gorgeous fountain pens. Pen enthusiast from the United States of America, all over the world. You need to get one of these magazines. They are absolutely cool. A lot of great information. A variety of fountain pens. Beautiful fountain pens. All shapes, sizes, and colors with really great prices. So, and this is the back of it. So, my friends, I hope you guys made it to the very end of this video because starting tomorrow, Friday, the 29th, November 29th, 2019. That's when Jim Hines will do his magic. Black Friday and then Cyber Monday. Again, the discounts are going to be amazing. They are already, I believe, at an affordable, fair price that Jim is selling is custom-made pins for. But with the sale coming up, it's going to be 20%. A discount minimum of 20%. And then there will be an amazing deal, he's saying, up to 40%. So, there you have it. I hope you found this video interesting, fun. I hope you found the information on Jim Hines interesting that helped answer some of your questions that's been going through your head and wondering about how amazing is this guy? Is he just like any other pin maker? What makes him so special? What makes him so different? Is he all that? Well, I've done showed you a few of my pins. If you keep up with my videos, I've showed you other pins that I will be updating throughout the week. It's all about pins, brother. Custom-made pins. I'm talking serious custom-made craftsmanship. Well, it's that time. Get in on the sale while they last. Friends, thank you for joining me today, Thanksgiving Day. And I hope you had time to spend it and share it with your loved ones. And remember all those who aren't quite as lucky as a lot of us are. Take care, my friends. Until next time, be safe. And remember, as always, don't text and drive. So I will talk to you later.